Okay, in this video we're going to be looking at sequences, and this is the topic that we're going to be continuing in the next few videos. So, here are three sequences in pattern form. So, in the first one we've got these kind of hut construction. You can imagine that each of these lines is a matchstick, and I'm building the pattern up as I go. So you can see that I've got this one hut, and I've stuck another one onto the side, and then another one has been onto the next side. So, it is right to assume that the next pattern would be four huts next to each other. So you need to be able to continue a sequence um, with the diagram, so be able to draw the next term in the sequence. So likewise, here we have some triangles that are being constructed. So the next one would appear here, so the next one in the sequence would look something like this. Okay, and other triangles have been added on to the end. And then the final sequence, we've got these three squares, then we've got these two squares being added on to the original three, then another two being added on. So the next one in the pattern must look something like this. So that's two, then I've got the three. So that's that pattern, just copied, and then I'm adding on the next two, which would go there, okay? So I should be able to draw the next term in the pattern. Now, it doesn't have to be um, so pattern, a pattern in this case, okay? It could be numerical. So if we change these sequences into numbers, let me just change my pen, let's go with that one instead, okay? So if I count up the matchsticks at each stage, one, two, three, four, five, and then the next one is five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then the next one is 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so I can see that I'm adding on four each time. So the next one will be 17, and then 21, and then 25, and so on. Okay, so I can continue the sequence numerically if I like. This one, starting off with three matchsticks, then I'm adding on another two, so I've got five, then I'm adding on another two, so I've got seven, then I would get nine, then eleven, then thirteen, then fifteen, seventeen, and so forth. The last sequence, I've got four there, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, so I'm starting off with ten, then I'm adding on one, two, three, four, five matchsticks to get the next pattern. So I'm adding on another 5, so 20, so this pattern has 25 matchsticks, and then it would be 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, and so on. So you need to be able to continue a sequence, not just in a pattern, but also numerically. Okay? So from this, we will then want to be able to ask the question, well, how many matchsticks am I going to need for maybe the 50th pattern, or the 100th pattern. And it would be nice if we were able to do this without having to draw them all, because that would take too long. So, in the next few videos, we're going to see um, what method we can use to do this. 